oda 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 uh my name says most people call me says you can call me says and i represent long live tank frenchie um this is a brand new youtube channel please forgive me uh i'm rough around the edges uh don't really you know gotta learn my way around this thing not a big on-camera guy but I wanted to share some of my experiences with you guys, some of our experiences as a team. Um, this first video is an introduction. Uh, I personally been breeding for 10 years plus. Started with American Bullies uh, under the kennel name Anonymous Bullies out of Philadelphia. Uh, took some time off because I didn't like the direction that the bully game was going in. Uh, I figured if I wanted to if I wanted a Frenchie, I would breed Frenchies. If I wanted an English Bulldog, I would breed English Bulldogs. And I started breeding Frenchies. <laughs> Fast forward a few years later, I started breeding Frenchies. Um, this particular video, we're going to talk about progesterone on machines. I spent months, 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 uh, researching uh the different type of machines and the best machine to grab for our program um and after researching about four or five different machines we ended up grabbing the uh bio note uh v check v200 and uh this video is going to show you what what we did was I, we ran a test early uh the first and second day that we got it on a, on a female that we had just finished breeding. So, you know, we got those levels. They seem to be accurate. It was about a 27. She was towards the end of her heat. Uh, it was the day after her last breeding. So, there, you know, but uh, we also did a vet comparison. Uh, we went to Delaware Valley and, uh, Animal Hospital, did a progesterone test with same day results and did a pre progesterone test here and match those uh results so this video will kind of show you uh, that process uh we don't do an unboxing uh we, we skip a lot of steps and get straight to it um these videos that that, that i do i'm gonna i'm gonna try not to make them too long let's face it this day and age most people you can't hold their attention too long so you start dragging out these videos you know, people start fading off, so I try to get in and get it out. You know what I mean? Uh, but stay tuned, and, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, and at the end, I'll give you my honest assessment on the bio note. All right. Well, we're here at the vet. Um... We're going to get the progesterone done here uh, and see what their levels are. Take her back home, run the test at home, see if these levels match up. Uh, I would suggest anybody do that, if, especially if you get a new machine, no matter what kind of machine it is. Compare it to the vet. Make sure yours is, it, 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 you know, is it within, you know, all types of defects come and things of that nature. Make sure they line up. The, you know, the worst thing you could do is miss a breeding or, you know, things get thrown off because the machines that you're using, the, the equipment that you're using is not where it should be, you know. So, we're here. We're going to wait, uh, get these done and uh, come back to you. All right, we back now. You see we set up in the lab. Uh, earlier, you seen that we was at the vet. Uh, the vet results came back. She was at a 10.5. Uh, here, right here again, you'll see the, the bio note V200 V check. Uh, we got everything set up, ready to go. We're going to go ahead and, uh, get the blood drawn and go from there and we'll get back with you. As you can see, the device is calibrated and we're ready to go. All right. So we back, uh, we got the blood spinning for 15 minutes, uh, we didn't, we, you know, we, we, we drew the blood off camera or whatever. Uh, 
just to let y'all know, we definitely ran a test on this machine. Uh, I think the first or second day that I got it. But uh, we ran it on a female that we that was done breeding. It was the day after her last breeding. And the results was, uh, she was a 27.7, which seems to be right. Uh, but today we're comparing the test that we, we actually went to the vet earlier today and with another female that's uh, with uh, a, maybe a week into her uh, heat, um, somewhere between seven and nine days. I kind of lost track with everything that was going on. But she was a 10.5 at the vet. So uh, I want to use her to compare it to the machine. So hopefully... Uh, once it's done spinning, I'm going to cut out, let it spin, and uh, when the results is almost here, I'll uh, let you know. I didn't want to do a step-by-step -step how to. There's so many videos on how to use the machine, but I just wanted to give you guys a, a broad example of the testing and give my true thoughts on the machine. I did a lot of research before I bought this machine, uh, and I was stuck between the Fine Care Wine Fro and this. And uh, everything led me to this thing. Everything led me to believe that this was the better machine. So uh, let's hope so. <laughs> let's hope so. All right, what's going on, guys? We back. Uh, ran the test. The test. The test results is in. Kind of came in at a twelve point nine zero, not quite ten point five, but not far either. Uh, I never expected the numbers to be exact, considering you're dealing with different machines. But technically, she would kind of be in the same place in her in her heat. So, you know, as far as number wise, like you would be breathing a day regardless if it was a 10.5 or uh, a 12.9. I mean, some would. They say she. They say you're ready to go anywhere between a 10 and an 18. So, you know, I would be doing this first breed if we were breeding her this time around, uh, which we're not. This is just for uh, testing purposes. But if we were breeding her, we would be starting today anyway. Um, there it is. The vet said 10.5. The machine said 12.9. Bio no V check V200. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the machine. Uh, like I said, I, I, I did months of research, uh, trying to, to decide which machine will be best for our program. Uh, the process between the wild fro and the, and the, and the, uh, bio note was the same, same, same prep. You prep, everything is the same, uh, but. Uh, to my knowledge, and what I found out is that the bio note is actually better and more accurate for reverse progesterone and, and C-section timing. Um, I, 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 in my research, I reached out to uh, distributors. Uh, if you only sold wine fro, you have a bias for wine fro. If you only sold bio note, you had a you had a bias to bio note. Um, there's one distributor uh, that I know of, uh, K9P4, that sells at least five different machines. And so I, I seek out uh, information from them guys. And uh, they, you know, told me that the BioNote was the better between the two, the Winefold. The other machines, uh, the Cube Vet is a couple grand. Um, they say they like better, but. It's it's outside. It was outside of my budget, a couple grand uh, more. Uh, but for what I needed it for, the bio note was the best way to go. Uh, it's not a lot of content on the bio note, and that's re the reason I, I did this video. But overall, I, I'm definitely satisfied. I'm looking forward to using it more. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing. You know, my, my productions after using it in time in the breeders. Uh, you know, looking forward to it. But uh, like I said before, my name is Tez. I represent Long Live Tank Frenchies. 
You can follow us on Instagram, LLT Frenchies. Uh, check out our dogs, our upcoming breeders. Um, inbox me if you have a question. I love talking shop. I love talking about things that I'm passionate about. You know what I mean? Dogs, crypto, and real estate. Those are my three passions. So I love talking about those three things. And uh, if you got a question, uh, feel free to reach out. LLT Frenchies on Instagram.